From KARK4 and Fox 16, this is a special report. Here's Mitch McCoy. Hello and good afternoon to you. We are coming on all of our digital platforms. We have breaking news. The attorney for Derek Chauvin has filed a motion asking for a new trial for the former police officer who was found guilty in the murder of George Floyd. Good afternoon to you. I am Mitch McCoy. This is breaking news coverage as we come on the air and we try and process exactly what this means. Uh, this, uh, this motion just filed a few moments ago in Minneapolis. And I want to get straight to um, Kelly Ward, a former prosecutor here in Arkansas. Kelly, thank you for joining us here on just sh uh, short notice. Walk me through what this means. Uh, a, a request like this, um, a motion like this, is it normal? And where do we go from here? Yes, so this motion would is normal. If you look at the motion um, that was filed, um, a lot of, which I'm reading it to the side here, a lot of the issues have already been litigated in the trial. A lot of them are issues that um, will be taken up on appeal. Um, you have the failure, of, or it's basically the motion is stating that the judge abused his discretion in ruling a certain way on certain issues. One is the failing to sequester the jury during the trial. One is failing to um, order the uh, witness who asserted the Fifth Amendment to testify. And then we've got uh, a couple others, but they're all issues that were litigated during the trial and the court has already ruled on. Um, one thing we, that I, don't, I was not able to uh, ascertain before we have went on is in Minnesota, is this type of motion required to preserve all those issues that they raised during the trial? Do they need to file this motion in order to preserve those for an appeal to, to the appellate court? Um, I don't know the answer to that. It's not required in Arkansas to file a motion for a new trial um, prior to your appeal. So that's one thing that, that we don't know about Minnesota law. But looking at these allegations, they're all things that were brought up during the trial and ruled on by the judge, except for one, um, in my quick view, since this just came out, and that that was the allegation of prosecutorial misconduct. But if you look at the motion, there's no, they included no basis for that prosecutorial misconduct. They just state um, pervasive prejudicial prosecutorial misconduct, but they don't give any specific facts um, that would support that allegation. Every other point um, is something that was raised during the trial. So I don't think we have a lot of new information here. Um, it's all things that um, were addressed by the judge during the trial and the defense obviously um, did not agree with the judge's ruling. And these are things they're gonna ask him to like, reconsider. Um, and then if he denies that, then I'm sure they'll take all of them up for an appeal in front of the uh, Minnesota Appellate Court. You know, this is very uh, interesting. Again, we're, we're, we're talking with Kelly Ward, a former prosecutor here in Arkansas, um, as we get news that the defense attorney for Derek Chauvin, of course, that he is the former Minneapolis police officer convicted in the murder of George Floyd, uh, kneeling on George Floyd's neck for more than nine minutes, uh, convicted uh, last month by this jury. Um, you know, Kelly, before we were coming on the air, I, I was, I had asked you, I said, listen, is this something that what was expected? Uh, I mean, is it normal for a defense attorney after a high profile case to file some kind of motion like this um, and to throw out uh, misconduct by the prosecution? Is that basis for, for filing a motion without providing any kind of evidence? Well, you would think when you're you're saying that, that you're making the, this pervasive prejudicial prosecutorial misconduct is one of their um, points in their motion, they would state something that happened, um, you know, like there was evidence that wasn't turned over during the discovery process, or um, there was information that the state had that would be impeaching to one of the witnesses, but they're not 
uh, giving anything in this motion that would support that type of allegation. Um, yeah, it's totally normal for them, especially in a case like this. They're going to file every argument uh, that they can. They're going to do make every possible uh, point that they are going to preserve for appeal. So it is very normal to file this type of motion. Uh, but what I would expect in a motion for a new trial in Arkansas, what you would want is some sort of new information, something the court has not ruled upon yet. Um, let's say after trial, this is a hypothetical, doesn't have anything to do with the, the, what the information is on this case, but after trial, we learned, you know, some, that something irregular happened during deliberations. A juror has given us information that, that, that something happened that wasn't supposed to happen, or, you know, a witness that testified has now recanted. It's something new that the court hasn't addressed. Uh, that the parties didn't know about has suddenly come to light and that would sustain a motion for a new trial. Here, what we have are the same types of arguments um, that were made to the judge during the trial. The judge listened to those arguments and he ruled against the defense. Um, and so they're saying he abused his discretion in those rulings. Now that is something um, I guess the judge could reconsider for a new trial, but normally that's something that you would argue on appeal um, to the appellate court, whether it be the, you know, the, it's like in Arkansas, it'd be the Court of Appeals or the Arkansas Supreme Court. You would raise all those things um, in your appeal. I don't know if they are filing this motion to preserve those points, or, um, you know, if sometimes you thought they could be filing a motion to, um, get more for more time to in the trial court. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the strategy is, but there aren't any new uh, allegations in this motion that we didn't already know about. Kelly Ward, a former prosecutor joining us here as we uh, cover this breaking news story out of Minneapolis, the defense attorney for Derek Chauvin filing that motion asking for a new trial um, in um, the former police officer's um, case here, of course, uh, Derek Chauvin found uh, guilty on numerous charges in the murder of George Floyd. Uh, Kelly, as we as we begin to just recap and, and we'll begin to wrap up here, um, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm interested in, in knowing what would be from 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 your perspective, the next step. Uh, obviously, the, the defense attorney has filed this motion. Um, what happens if a judge says, yes, he, he deserves a new trial? Will, will Derek Chauvin be held uh, on those charges until this is litigated? So they've asked in the motion, they've asked for a hearing. The judge, um, it, you know, in Arkansas, we have a rule that for when you file a motion for a new trial, a judge can actually um, grant the motion, deny the motion, or do nothing on the motion. And after a time period of um, after a certain time period, the motion is deemed denied. So in Arkansas, even if a judge didn't rule, didn't give you a hearing, the motion is deemed denied after a certain time period, um, 30 days, I think. I have to go back and look at the rule. Um, so I don't know what the law is in Minnesota. So, but there are several steps that are gonna have to happen before a new trial is granted. Like I said, generally judges are not gonna go back and revisit rulings that they made during the trial on evidentiary issues like um, not allowing a certain piece of evidence and um, that doesn't necessarily that's not going to get a new trial um, that's something that a, an appellate court would have to take up now if they had something new that the court had never seen before um, that is something that could warrant a new trial but i don't see anything new in this motion Let's just say, for hypothetical sake, um, you know, a new trial was granted that they could readdress. Uh, it kind of goes back to square one, and you're readdressing things like bail or bond or uh, pretrial um, confinement. So, don't see anything in this motion that I think is going to get them to a new trial um, in front of the, the trial court. But in that hypothetical situation, if a new trial is granted, you go back to basically square one. You just start all over. Wow, very interesting. Um, Kelly Ward, former prosecutor, joining us here live tonight um, as we talk about this breaking news. Kelly Ward, thank you for your time and your expertise 
on the legal system. We certainly appreciate it. We know that uh, uh, every state's a little different and um, on the fly being able to, to try and give us some kind of perspective on what this could mean uh, is truly appreciated. Kelly Ward, former prosecutor, thank you for your time tonight. Thank you, Mitch. All right, Kelly Ward, thank you again. If you're just joining us here tonight, we are following that breaking news. The defense attorney for Derek Chauvin has uh, filed a motion asking for a new trial for the former police officer who was found guilty in the murder of George Floyd. This has been breaking news coverage from KRK4 and Fox 16. We have continuing coverage on this story, krk.com, fox16.com throughout the night. For now, I'm Mitch McCoy from Studio B. This has been a special report from Fox 16 and KARK 4.